Yes, I just decided to go out and meet Kurt Reimer. Kurt, where are you? Hiding? It's okay. Beautiful here in the park. It's your loss. <laughs> oh my, what a wonderful day. Look at that fountain. Deep and wide, flowing deep and wide. What a blessing. Yes, if it wasn't for, it would be. As they say, it is what it is, eh? Nice, such a gorgeous day. It would be nice to get a little shower, but uh, no, just uh, thought I'd sit down and uh, contemplate a little bit. It's uh, been a, one of those days. I don't know when I've last had a Friday as relaxed as I've had this Friday. And uh, it's, uh, it's great. And uh, I, uh, you know, checked with him. It checked in with John Weeb, who was uh, traveling up in Montana, uh, Western Manitoba, and then headed home to his daughter's graduation at Miller Collegiate in Meltona. And uh, I see so many other uh, graduations taking place. My best wishes and God's blessings to each one of the families and members that have graduations. And you know, it's also so good to see when people of all color are taking pictures here in the park because you know what? They came to Winkler from wherever that may be, 88, 90 flags representing countries of people having moved here. And the so-called Bible Belt, yes, was able to incorporate those people. And uh, as they so wished and chose. And uh, that's the blessing. As they so wished and chose. They can go to school. They can start their own schools. They can go to work. They can start their own businesses. And they can just simply be themselves or they can be part of whatever they choose to be part of. But if they want to work, there's a job waiting for them. And that's the awesome part. Maybe not everybody, but I believe for the most part, those that want to work in, the, yeah, of course we've got the COVID. We now have uh, you know restaurants that are closed and maybe starting to open hopefully they're all, they're all going to be able to swallow the huge extra debt load they had not counted on and continue to move forward. I understand, even from yesterday, that uh, Saskatchewan is laying off teachers. And I'm not sure, I didn't see that story yet, but, you know, there will be lots of different kinds of layoffs as uh, inflation starts to not only trickle up, <laughs> or slowly it's going to ramp up in some cases you know then uh, there might be others that will be laid off and not have work businesses might close who knows but you know what we will survive we will persevere we will move forward and uh, this will continue to be the land of the free Some people may take exception to that, but I could come here in my bike. I can go and buy groceries. I can go for a ride. I can drive to Winnipeg. I can do whatever I so choose as long as it's legal. And so a lot of countries, people can not do that. So I just wanted to share. I didn't think I would, but it's as the spirit leads, I sit down I look at that beautiful, beautiful fountain. There are people, there's a ladies group to the left here meeting, sitting in their lawn chairs, social distancing and having fellowship of some kind. And that is awesome. And uh, I see these two young fellows that are walking at the fountain. I've met them at least three times today. And they are walking and walking around and, and doing whatever they so choose to do. So have yourself a great evening, great weekend.
and continue to trust in the Lord, for he is good.